people of the internet, I come to you bearing a friend. His name is Cthulhu, say hi. Hello. You know, there's actually another movie I saw, it's got a lot to do with your kind of creature, you know, monsters and stuff. Oh yeah? Yeah, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's called The Avengers. It's really exciting, I think you should go see it. It's also got a green guy. Oh, I love green guys. Is that the one with Thor in it? Yeah, it is actually. Chris Hemsworth and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Captain America too. Oh, that douchebag. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what, why don't we, in this magical segue, let you review the Avengers today, and I will just, you know, stand aside, and I'll, I'll, I will watch it in between this click and the next click. How does that sound? That sounds fine. Okay. Ready? Yes. Cool. So, in true Cthulhu style, I'm gonna break it down. Thanks to yo. That's not what Cthulhu does, is it? No, not really. It's been a while. I've been playing other roles, you know. I actually had a uh, job as an ood, you know. It was a good, it was a good time to be a squid creature. Good times. Anyway, cool stuff is as follows. Every conversation seemed to be fantastic. Everyone seemed to have lines that were appropriate to them, but were very funny. Iron Man was hilarious. The action sequences were great and the way they all got together was amazing. But what was even more fascinating was that Jack was right. The Hulk was fantastic. What do you mean Jack was right? Why is that so surprising? Uh, moving on. But yeah, it was really cool. The fact that Bruce Banner was so mild-mannered is something we haven't really seen before. I really liked Mark Ruffalo's performance, and I thought it was great. And as for Scarlett Johansson, I'll put my tentacles into her bodice any day. <laughs> That's pretty sick, dude. Shut up. Josh Whedon seems to be a phenomenal director, and I really enjoyed the Avengers overall. However, it was not a perfect movie. For example, the main monster, the big, you know, woo 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 things, they could have really used some more tentacles. That's a personal opinion. I don't expect everyone to agree, but I thought that the tentacles were necessary. I also thought the pacing was a little slow, considering how much had to be done and how long it took. For example, I think some of the dialogue between Black Widow and Hawkeye, who by the way was really cool, could have been cut a bit. I didn't really understand their relationship either. I mean, are they fucking? Are they not? Are they just, you know, are they in a complicated relationship where they use killing people as foreplay? I, I mean, that would be cool for me. I mean, I'm a giant sadistic evil monster. I mean, frankly, I would enjoy masturbating to that. And as for Loki, that guy, you know, I liked him, but as far as evil villains go, I mean, yeah, he was a little lame. No offense, Tom Hiddleston, I think you're an amazing actor, and I think you do an amazing performance, but you got beaten so quickly. If I were facing down the Hulk, he'd beat me in like five minutes. Minimum, as for Captain America. I'm all for propaganda, I mean, I have my own religion, so you know. I'm not really one to talk, but really, most people are gonna be busy hiding for their lives. No one's going to care if you wear that costume. And for another thing, if you're going to have the flag, why not have all the stars on it? Stars are awesome! Space! Overall, I give it, uh, one, two, three, four, no, no, th three, uh, four tentacles out of five. So yeah. Peace. You wouldn't believe it, but my throat hurts a bit.